Hi, my name is Mitzi, and I'm a registered nurse in Texas. I've spent more than 25 years caring for patients and families in military and community-based healthcare settings and working with hospital staff delivering patient care. In the coming weeks, state leaders will have to make very difficult decisions about where to spend and where not to spend federal money. These are difficult decisions that will impact real people in Texas communities. Today, there are more than 595 community hospitals across the state, providing care to millions of patients, even those who can't pay, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. As of 2011, Texas hospitals admitted nearly 2.5 million people. They provided care during more than 40 million outpatient visits, evaluated 10.2 million visitors to their emergency rooms, and delivered more than 375,000 babies. Now that's a lot of care. But the importance of our state's hospitals doesn't stop there. Statewide, hospitals employ nearly 374,000 people. Wages and economic activity generated from these Texas hospital jobs account for about $183 billion in spending annually as hospital employees spend their incomes in their communities, supporting other Texas businesses and jobs for their neighbors. And now there's an opportunity to make an even bigger difference. If the state accepts the new federal dollars for Medicaid expansion, as many as 1.1 million Texans could gain health care coverage. Today, most of these individuals do not have health insurance for one of three reasons. They can't afford the cost, or their employer doesn't offer insurance coverage, or they're unemployed. Despite their lack of insurance, these individuals need health care just like everyone else, adding up to more than $5.4 billion each year in unreimbursed treatment that Texas hospitals provide. This ongoing challenge continues to put stress on Texas health care safety net. Unless something changes, many hospitals might invest less in programs to improve community health, like free clinics, screenings, and support groups, while others may have to eliminate jobs or reduce services like emergency, women's, and children's care. Even worse, hospitals that are already struggling may be forced to close their doors. In many communities, if hospitals stopped providing these services, no one else would. People would have to travel farther for care, creating longer wait times and delaying critical care for everyone. As a nurse, I know this will not serve patients well. And as a Texan, I know this will not serve my state well. But state leaders have a choice. Expanding the Texas Medicaid program under the provisions of federal health reform would save the state money and significantly reduce the number of Texas residents who are uninsured. Please help Texas hospitals keep their commitment to care Ask your elected officials in Austin to accept the federal funds for Texas Medicaid expansion. Ensuring access to health care for our citizens is the right thing to do.